Hi everyone, this is the second video of investment decision chapter and in the first video of this chapter we have discussed about this chapter we have seen the process of capital budgeting we have just gone through the techniques of capital budgeting right the evaluation techniques how do we evaluate the projects right we have seen that now in this video what are we going to do is in this video we are going to start off with the first technique of capital budgeting that is payback period right we are starting off with the payback period technique so you need to understand what is this technique see this technique is about how soon can we get our cash back how soon can we get our initial investment back for example if you are investing in a project right 100 rupees let's say just for an example 100 rupees and let's say the annual cash inflow the money which we are going to get inflow of cash will be equal okay 20 rupees 20 rupees 20 rupees 20 rupees okay equal for say let's say for seven years just for an example right for seven years so how long would it take to recover our initial investment now you can easily say it's very simple 20 20 20 20 20 five years right if you get five twenties you will make hundred right so we will recover our cash back isn't it we will get our initial investment back that is what this technique is about how soon can we get our cash back that's it it's very simple that's it nothing it took five years to recover our initial investment simple as that okay it took how many just five years to recover initial investment but five years is very long time so it's not a good project okay if it exceeds three four years it's not a good project but it depends upon the management fine so that is what this technique is all about how soon can we get our cash back okay there is a formula for it but it's very simple see the formula is initial investment fine initial investment divided by annual cash inflow that's it initial investment divided by annual cash inflow 100 divided by 20 that is 5 years right isn't it 0 0 cut 2 1 2 2 5 is a 10 that's it 5 years so it will take 5 years to recover that 100 rupees so that is it how soon can we get our cash back okay payback period so now we'll see the problems and there's one more thing cumulative cash flows when the cash inflows are not equal here the cash inflows are equal right but what if they are not equal right that we will see we will solve that problem in this video only okay so let's solve the problems okay then now here are the problems see here the first problem initial investment 25 lakh annual cash inflow 5 lakh for 8 years now the years here don't matter okay we just have the initial investment annual cash inflow we got the formula that's it right what was the formula initial investment divided by cash inflow annual cash inflow right you can only use this formula when the cash flows are equal right here they have said it's equal 5 lakh for 8 years for every year it will be 5 lakh 5 lakh 5 lakh 5 lakh right so just put on the formula that's it right calculate the payback period how will you do it it's very simple see here initial investment divided by annual cash inflow 25 lakh divided by 5 lakh right see here 25 lakh yeah divided by 5 lakh it is equal to 5 so it will take 5 years it will take 5 years to recover the initial investment that's it simple yeah now let's see one more problem now here is the second problem see here suggest the management using payback period see here there are two projects over here the machine A and the machine B now the company is in need of a machine but it has two options machine A and machine B so which will you suggest to the management that is what this question is asking and you have to do that using the payback period method okay the simple technique of capital budgeting okay this is what is capital budgeting you are analyzing the projects and suggesting the management right you are a financial analyst right so machine a initial investment is 15 lakh cash inflow is 5 lakh right you have to invest 15 lakh and you will get cash inflow 5 lakh okay and then here machine b initial investment is 20 lakh and cash inflow is 5 lakh 50 just put on the formula what is the formula initial investment divided by annual cash inflow right so 15 lakh divided by 5 lakh 15 lakh divided by 5 lakh that is what 3 years let's say this is 15 lakh 15 lakh divided by 5 that is equal to 3 so 3 years right so within 3 years the initial investment will be recovered right in the project a in the machine a now for the machine b initial investment is 20 and the cash inflow is 5 lakh 50 thousand right so formula 20 lakh divided by 5 lakh 50 initial investment divided by annual cash inflow 
that gives you let's calculate 20 divided by 5.5 that is equal to 3.6 3.6 right so it will take 3.6 years right it's very simple the payback period is nothing it's very very basic yeah it's simple right yes so which machine will you suggest of course the machine with the shorter payback period yeah the smaller payback period that one you will suggest right so go for machine a buy machine a right because this machine if you purchase this machine then within three years you will recover the cost of that machine the initial investment that's the logic it's very simple how soon can you get your cash back that's all this method talks about right how soon can you get your initial investment back that's it now let's see cumulative cash flows when the when the inflows the cash inflows are not equal then what do you have to do right let's see that now here is the third problem of payback period method see here an industry is considering investment in a project which cost rupees 6 lakh right the initial investment is how much the initial investment is 6 lakh 600,000 fine and then they have given us the cash inflows now as I said when the cash inflows are not equal as they are here see here 1 lakh 20 thousand in the first year 1 lakh 40 in the second year 1 lakh 80 2 lakh 2 lakh 50 so they are not equal are they no they are not they are not equal right so when they are not equal you cannot use that formula what formula you remember the formula right initial investment divided by the annual cash inflow you cannot make use of that formula right so what do we do we just make these three columns okay we'll come to that so here they have said calculate payback period so how do we calculate the payback period when the cash inflows are not equal so when they are not equal you have to make use of cumulative cash flow okay this way i will show you it's very simple first take the years column 0 1 2 3 4 5 right five cash flows are there cash inflow right 1 2 3 4 5 so five years fine now what is this zero year year zero year zero is nothing but the first day of the first year that is when we invested the 600,000 the 6 lakh right so that is why I have put this in negative this is the outflow outflow of cash right we invested the money right so this is the outflow so I have put this in the negative okay and then the following are the inflows so they are positive okay 1 lakh 20 in the first year at the end of the first year 1 lakh 40 at the end of the second year 1 lakh 80 at the end of the third year 2 lakh at the end of the fourth year like that okay these are the cash inflows fine so you just have to do the cumulative cash flow and this is very simple i will show you how see here properly okay so first what happened first we invested the six lakh right we invested the six lakh so put it exactly like that okay in the negative now we need six lakh to cover the initial investment that is the logic okay so slowly one by one we are going to recover okay see here first take the calculator right take the calculator right so i'll put this to the side minus six lakh right minus six lakh now you are going to plus one by one in the first year what happened you got 120 so plus 120 right so when you add 120 to minus six lakh what will happen you will get minus 480 it is minus okay in the top you, if you can see it see it's minus right it's minus so minus 480 now still we have to recover 480,000 right 480,000 that is 4 lakh 80,000 we have to recover that to cover the initial investment and then in the second year what do we get in the second year we got 1 lakh 40,000 so add 1 lakh 40,000 simple sorry 1 lakh 40,000 yeah so 3 lakh 40 yeah now we need minus 340 so we are in need of we are in need of 340,000 fine 3 lakh 40 thousand then in the third year we got 1 lakh 80 so add 1 lakh 80 yeah so we are in need of 160 still negative it is still in negative right we have got the third year cash flow cash inflow and still the amount is in negative minus 160 so now in the next year what do we get 2 lakh so add that 2 lakh we are getting 2 lakh so now it has become positive see no minus there right no minus there it is positive positive 40,000 so that means between the year 3 and 4 what has happened I, between the year 3 and 4 the initial investment of 6 lakh has been recovered 
here here it has been recovered okay so now how do we know exactly when it was recovered we just know that it was at the end of the third year the third year was over right and it was in the fourth year that the initial investment was recovered right so how do we know it exactly see it's very simple but you know right it has happened after the year three so first you take three year okay three year plus something some decimal is there it has taken some months and we have to know that exactly okay so what do we do is this simple formula simple logic formula okay see here in the third year when we received one like eighty thousand right in the third year when we received one like eighty thousand we were still in need of 160 right when we got 180 in the year 3 right we were still in the need of 160000 right before the positive we were in need of 160000 so that is what we are going to do 160000 we were in need of before the positive yeah how much we were going to receive in the following year in the next year that was 2 lakh right in the year 3 we were supposed we were in negative of 160 right we were in need of 160 we were going to receive 2 lakh just take the fraction of that simple 160 we were in need of we were going to receive in the next year 2 lakh right so the fraction is 0 0.8 the decimal is 0 0.8 right so 3 year it took 3 year plus that decimal plus those months okay 3 years plus 0 0.8 1 lakh 60 divided by 2 lakh that is 0 0.8 so 3 years plus 0 0.8 that is 3.8 years okay so this is the payback period this is how you do it the only tricky thing is here only here only the students get confused but I just got an easy solution to that see here when you get the positive just take the the previous figure right the previous figure just take the previous figure divide that by the the positive the the figure that is adjacent that is side by to the positive figure okay 160 divided by 2 lakh that's it it's very simple don't confuse it it's very simple when you get the positive figure the previous figure divided by the adjacent the side one okay 2 lakh that's it 160 divided by 2 lakh you will get the decimal figure okay so when you get the positive that means in that year there has been recovery of the initial investment okay this is how you do it this is the cumulative cash flow. It's very simple. We start off with the negative. This is what we need. And slowly we add on. First we take the negative, okay? First, while taking first, you have to press minus 6 lakh. Okay? It's in negative now. Then slowly go on adding year by year the inflows of cash. And then when you get the positive, then take the, the pre-figure, right? The previous figure and divide it by the, the side figure, okay? Okay, then inflow, the next inflow. Then you will get the decimal and then easily you can calculate the payback period. Okay, simple, right? So this is how you do it. Okay, you got the payback period here. Yeah? It's very simple. Fine. Okay, then in the next video, what are we going to do? We are going to see the accounting rate of return method or the row key method. Okay, all right.